All right, so um, for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is go over a program called um, uh, Marmoset. Um, that's called uh, Hexels or Hexels 2. Um, basically, what it is, and you can watch it, uh, a video here, I'll actually post it, but basically, it allows you to create um, uh, bitmap art uh, or uh, pixel art, I should say. Um, using a grid system and you can customize the grid you can make your own grid uh, you can do a bunch of different things um, and it even allows you to animate uh, it's got a really interesting um, system um, I, I, I don't know I think just aesthetically it's a really nice look uh, it does cost money it's $38 for a full license which honestly is really cheap uh, especially for some of you guys that don't feel as secure by your artwork you can not be that great of an artist and draw on this and it actually looks pretty decent still um, but if you just download it, you can download the trial and it's, I think it's like full go, like it will work, but you only get to use it for a month, which is more than enough to, to do this, uh, next assignment. So I definitely suggest, um, this program if, uh, you know, unless you want to do it in either Photoshop or animate or whatever your, your favorite thing is. So I already downloaded it and I bought it cause I like it. Um, but, uh, you know, you can think about doing it. So when you first open it up. It's going to give you an option of these different grid uh, uh, styles, okay? Um, and there's sample ones here as well, which some of them look pretty cool. You can see, you can create just that neat kind of really popular low po uh, low pixel kind of look. And some of them are a little bit more advanced than others. Um, I found that uh, the one I like the most is the Strixels one, um, just because it gives a sort of weird dimensionality um, that I think is very interesting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the Trixels, but basically each one of these are different representations of a different style, okay? Um, and you can see like this one's like the Pixels one, Square Pixels based on color opacity, uh, but I'm going to go with this one, okay? Now, what I do want to uh, show you though is this, is that if I didn't want to use Trixels, you can actually make your own. You can go to this custom one, okay? And it looks like this. This is going to be a multi thing. I'm just going to kind of go over the 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 uh, interface on this one, then we'll actually make stuff on the next one. Um, but it looks like this. You can actually change the shape of it over here. All right. So, um, and you can see it's actually changing it there. And then I can take this here and pull that down and pull this down, and it will snap. And you can see now that's my new grid. And you can add more. I can click in here, double click. And it'll, oops, accidentally added one. Oops. Um, and I can uh, basically, uh, number of sides. Let's just remove some of those. There we go. Uh, I can remove the number of sides. So I can just double click and add another one. And then basically you can work with this to try and make yourself a new grid all right and you can make it whatever you want um, but it's kind of neat and then you can use that and you can draw with using the, your custom grid okay um, they even have like this row offset thing and vertical spacing so it overlaps all right so there's all sorts of things um, and you can save it as a preset and the whole nine yards and it's pretty cool um, see like I can flip it so now it draws like this uh, so you might find uh, a method of the grid, but I think that's really, I mean, that, that makes it extremely flexible. I think it's a really interesting system uh, that works pretty well. Um, so yeah, there you go. So you can make your own grid and you can kind of adjust it here using the custom and there's the other ones as well. So pixel, and even after you start drawing with one, you can actually switch to some extent. I mean, it's not going to, um, how it's actually going to turn out is anyone's guess. Um, but you can actually um, switch between them even after you've drawn with them, okay? Uh, okay, so um, I don't need to stretch that out. We'll put that at one. So keep that at one. Um, so I'm just going to select this and get rid of it. All right. Okay, control D. All right, um, so there are different types here. Now, we, I'm going to go ahead and use Trixel. And basically, there's the brush, which is this. And it allows me to draw, okay? And uh, I can choose my color here, okay? Uh, so you have HSV or RGB, so hue, saturation, value, or red, green, blue, 
whatever way you feel more comfortable using. Um, I do want a transparent background um, because I don't want to have, um, actually I find it a little bit easier to work with like a mid gray and then afterwards I'll switch it back to um, transparent so that I can have, you know, the transparency. Um, but afterwards I'll, I'll click that back on. But for now we'll, we'll turn that off. Um, I can show the grid like so. Uh, you can actually, if you hit G, uh, let's see back here. G is supposed to do it. Well, it's also up here. So this will turn the grid on and off. Okay, so it's the same as doing it on there. Um, and when you do show the grid, you can change the opacity of it. So if you find that it's too much in the way or you want it really obvious, um, I'm going to go a little bit lighter so I don't see it so much. Um, that's all good. There's also a glow. So I'll show you, like, let's say I do like kind of a nice, we'll say this color. Um, when I make the, uh, when I draw on this, oops, I don't have the, when I draw on this, you'll see there's a little bit of a glow to it. And I find it actually gives it like just a nice touch aesthetic. Um, so uh, I would suggest leaving the glow on, but you can adjust it here, the glow, glow amount and the radius. But generally speaking, I would leave that on. It just, again, it just has, gives it a nice feel. It has a little variation in it. Um, so uh, let's see, that's glow. So anyway, so there's color, blah, 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 the grid opacity, and there's layers right here. Okay, so you can have multiple layers on top of each other to make it a little bit easier to work with. Um, and then there's also this timeline, which once you get ready to animate, you can animate on this timeline, and that will uh, make it work a little bit easier. And basically, you just add frames on each one, uh, and it works just one frame after the other. There's no, like, keyframe animation. It's more about, um, well, you can keyframe the glow, but I wouldn't suggest doing that unless there's a specific reason. Um, and you can keep frame opacity, but honestly, I don't see why you'd want to use either one of those, but that is a thing. Um, but for the most part, it's just straight ahead, you know, frame by frame. Okay. So, uh, so shape you can control here. You can see the various things. Um, really nothing too much there. Color, I think I already went over. Um, palette. So after you use your colors, they'll show up here. And so basically it's really nice because as you go, you can, uh, just keep using the colors that are already up here and you'll be all set. Okay. Um, good. So, uh, next, the next panel down, I have document texture, um, which I don't have any textures in here, but you can load in a texture and you can see there's various ones in here. And I guess I'll add that so I can, um, when I draw, it has this weird texture applied to it. Okay. Um, but, uh, let's just delete that. Okay. Um, and so there's a bunch in here. You may or may not find those useful. I don't use them, but maybe who knows. Um, previous just shows the previous thing. Um, so document it's, right now it's 48 by 48, which means it's um, if I hit control minus minus minus, it means there's 48 uh, little nug nuggets versus 48 other little nuggets, um, which I think I'll leave alone for now. So it's 48 going this way and 48 going this way. So that seems an okay number of, of hexes. And like I said, so this turns on the glow, this turns on the grid. So, all right. So um, now the other thing you control with this as well, make sure back on paint, is that right now, if I have it, I'm in the basic Trixels mode. I can click on this and it adds a, well, now I'm going to get closer again so you can see it. It adds like a sub um, amount. Okay. This one will add it in the other direction diagonally. Okay. So if I need to make a ramp, this one will add it in this direction. This one will add just a whole ton. Okay. Um, but each one of these are basically subcategories of Trixels. So it allows you to more easily block things out. Okay. Because you'll see that each one of them are actually part of each other. Um, and then lastly is this one. All right. So uh, most of the time, just kind of keep it this one. All right. Uh, good. And then this brush size, the brush opacity. I'm just going to keep it on 100%. And brush size, obviously, I'm just going to keep it at 1, so I'm drawing on 1s. Um, so this is the normal brush. You have a background and foreground color and uh, back on layers. Okay, so um, I have a character I already made up. So I'm just going to go to my color here and I am going to uh, try to make a kind of peachy, fleshy tone color. All right, to represent um, Charles, my son. So um, here we go. Uh, well, yeah, actually, I'll go over the thing here first. So um, that's the paintbrush. This one does outlines. So I'm just going to do like this. And it will it'll allow me to draw an outline on these. Okay. 
which you may or may not find useful. I don't really see much of the purpose of that, but um, this one just draw a straight line using, you know, it's their line tool, which may or may not be useful. This will actually, so I have to color a bunch in. Go like this. Okay. And then um, I can use this. So there's there's um, this, which is a gradient, which I'll use the background foreground color. Hang on a second. Let's see. There we go. It's not doing a very good job. It's kind of random how well it works. There we go. You can see it creates a sort of gradient across. All right. Um, and then there's another one, and this one does uh, basically like a noise across. Come on. There we go. You can see it creates that sort of shape. Um, and that's good. This is an eraser. It erases, obviously. This is the select tool, so I can grab a chunk, take it, and I can move it. Um, you can also uh, paint a selection. So I'm just going to control D, just like you would in Photoshop, to clear my selection. I can paint what I want to grab. And there's also even a magic wand, which will grab a section. Which in this case, it's not doing a very good job. For some reason, these it's not um, seeing it as a whole piece here. So, whatever. Um, let's see. There you go. I'll just delete that. Uh, this is the, uh, the eyedropper. You know, you just use spacebar and then zoom and then the frame tool, which is the same as crop. We're not going to use that. So um, those are the basic tools uh, that you would see. So um, I'm going to exit here and then we'll start drawing on the next one. All right.